Good afternoon. I'm here in Palm Springs, but I usually am in Los Angeles. I'm Valerie Milano with the Hollywood Times, and I'm going to have our guest introduce herself. Thank you so much. Hi, I'm Fia Pereira. I am the director, writer, and producer of Paul and Tricia, The Art of Fluidity, coming out on a home theater very soon on your streaming platforms on Apple July, July 9th. Wonderful. Thank you. Just in time for this interview, too. Or this interview is just in time for the film. I'm so, so glad that I was able to see it. And um, <clears throat> it's a wonderful documentary. Uh, it focuses on Paul Whitehead, who worked as an art director um, for both, you know, uh, Time Out and John Lennon and made uh, album covers for music icons like Genesis, Credence, Clearwater Revival, um, and Peter Hamill, and many more. Whitehead began exploring his gender identity through cross-dressing during the 90, 1960s, um, leading to the emergence of the converged artist Trisha Van Cleef in 2004. The film delves into the brutal challenges and beautiful victories that Paul and Trisha have faced together and individually in the mercurial and competitive art world. Via, this is an unusual approach to one's personal, one person's uh, dual identity, treating each as separate individuals instead of lumping them together as facets of one person's identity. Seems to be how folks who are cross-dressers or how who are transgender are usually portrayed. Was this concept clear to you when you embarked on making this film or did it emerge as you spent time with them? Um, that's a great question, Valerie. I, I've had the pleasure of knowing Paul and Tricia um, for a little while before I made the documentary. Um, my uh, dear friend, Adam, Fisk, who's also the producer of this of this film, um, introduced me to them. So I knew them for a couple years, but not really. I mean, I knew them fairly well, but I didn't know them obviously as well as until we really delved in. But I really had a clear idea of what I wanted to, what the theme was around the film, and it was really the dual the 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 dual identity. It was the fluidity between Paul and Tricia, the fluidity between their gender and the, and the fluidity of their artwork and the acceptance of selves, really. And so at, that was, I was very clear about the structure, kind of like where we needed to go. But then when I got in and started, you know, and you, get, you know, as a director, especially in a documentary, you let it just, the story emerges and it just, it's very, kind of no pun intended, fluid. So just talking with Paul and Tricia, more and more themes kind of, you know, little threads would get pulled out and I'd weave them in, into the film. It was it was really a, a wonderful experience. Yeah. Yeah. And regarding intolerance, Paul says, quote, in life, people try to intimidate you, to change your behavior, to conform with their behavior by fear that's usually the weapon they use. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As an artist yourself, have you encountered this? Paul seems to have a good handle on it, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. He certainly, they, Paul does, Trisha does, they, and they have a sense of humor in the film about themselves. And, um, and just, just to be very clear, everything they say is about how, how they feel about themselves, not about anybody else's interpretation of how they should feel about their identification or gender. Um, but um, have I felt that? I mean, have I gotten that as, no, not really. I mean, it's, I'm as a, you know, when you're doing a documentary as a filmmaker, it is, it is important for me to step back and not editorialize and cherry pick things because they're safe. It's my duty to honor the subject of the documentary and that's their truth. That's their journey and that's what how they feel about themselves. For me to go and go, oh my gosh, I'm gonna be scared if they say this or they're gonna offend somebody. You know what? You're gonna offend somebody 
anywhere just by, as Paul and Tricia say, by just existing, I, you might offend somebody. Yeah. So I just, you know, I, I had to honor my, honor the work and, and be true to the piece. Um, but I do, you know, I am stepping into the space of, um, you know, I'm a big at, um, LGBTQ plus IA um, advocate and ally, and I really stand, I have a, love, a lot of my, you know, have a lot of very good friends that are trans, uh, non-binary, trans men and women. And, you know, my messaging is leave my friends alone. Leave my friends alone. I have a lot of gay friends, men, men male, female friends, queer. Leave my friends alone and let them be who they are because they're not doing anything to anybody else. And I think that's really the message about you might not like what somebody else is or what they're doing, but they're not coming into your household and telling you who to love, how to identify and what to do with your life. So what gives you the right to do that to them? But, you know, again, it's really about loving yourself and also giving yourself the, the, the um, I think the, 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 just the space to, just to, to not, let fear shrink you and conform you and put, don't put ever put yourself into a box, you know? And so that's what, I mean, Paul and Trisha are, you know, in their, you know, almost 80. I mean, they're in their late seventies and they still continue to live and create beautiful pieces of art and live in their truth. So, you know, I think, and we all need to live in our truth. Wonderfully said. I'm on your yes. side. I got it. Yes, yeah. yes I know you do. <laughs> Um, Thea, the artwork that you included is fabulous, and it is almost, it's a story in itself, um, but the focus is on these two personalities and how Paul discovered his other identity. I imagine that was a difficult proposition as you put this film together. Um, how did you manage to keep it a part of this wonderful story and not let it take over the film? You mean of Trisha? Yeah. Oh, oh, the artwork. Uh, well, we have over 250 pieces of artwork. Um, and in the artwork is, um, as a filmmaker, every single thing you see in my film, there's a reason for it being there. I And I, you know, it, it it's the framing things that you look in the background. Why am I looking at that? Because it tells you something about the characters, how they're feeling about themselves what's move, how, how it's moving the story along. So the artwork, their story, their characters in their journey. And that's why, I mean, Yogananda is really the, 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 the father that, that Paul and Trisha never had. And you see Yogananda in a lot of frames, you know, they, are, you know, Yogananda is in a lot of the pieces of artwork, but all the artwork, it tells you something about their statement, their evolution and, and, and how the story is progressing. Mm -hmm. The message here seems to be one of tolerance, as we're talking about. We preach it all the time, but does your film make a better case for it than the classic argument of live and let live? You know, I think when I, I think that uh, Adam and I agree with this and Paul as well, is even though this subject is trans, gender fluid, this is not a trans rights movie. It's a movie about an artist living their truth. And, and that's really, and it's, and it's really about being happy and finding your peace in your life. So it's really about just, yeah, finding your joy, honoring those things. Yeah. Wonderful. Well, I can't say enough good things about it and um i know you're very busy and and how can our viewers our readers find out more about the film and and you and your work um well you can absolutely um definitely pre-order it you can pre-order it now on apple it's also going to be available on amazon as well and so you know you know you can do that. It's on, you know, go and order it, watch the film when it comes out on the ninth, please give us, you know, go on Rotten Tomatoes, weigh in, give a review, share the film, because I believe you sharing the film is going to help more people feel that they belong, they matter. I mean, I think one thing that's different about this film is that 
you're seeing an older person who is trans. And a lot of times we see we see these beautiful influencers, younger gay men that are gorgeous, non-binary, you know, younger, younger. We don't see a lot of the older generation that's really coming out and living as well. And they, they deserve to be seen and appreciated because they're the they're the ones that pave the road for so many other people. They're not invisible. Paul and Trisha are not invisible, nor are they their friends. There's a huge trans contingency that are in their 70s and 80s mm -hmm. and they're just beautiful souls so i think it's about really um you know share the message and um because there's a lot of people living in the darkness still that are afraid to really come out as their other their other identification their other gender um, and also you can find me um check me out um uh, follow me on instagram at the global activista and also follow me on mermaid feature film um i have another film that i'm in pre-production for called mermaid um about it's about a, a 12 year old um a boy that is trans that wants to be a beautiful mermaid and we're shooting that in the east coast in september and um so that's going to be a lot of fun and then um yeah you can also check out my work on prayerpictures.com as well wonderful well, thank you again for your time today. And we're the Hollywood Times official on YouTube and um, the Hollywood.times on Instagram and HollywoodTimes.net uh, as our website. And thank you again. Maybe one day we can meet in person instead of these. Thanks, computers. Valerie. Yeah. <laughs> thank okay. you so much for having me on. And thank you so much for caring about the film. Thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Okay. Thanks again, Thea. Have a great rest of your day. Okay, thanks. Okay, bye-bye.